unhappy anti New Year's negative Eve. Oh yeah. Yeah. Did we? Was that the right? Or is it happy anti New Year's negative Eve? It's it's happy anti New Year's Eve. Happy negativity. Isn't that kind of? There's no negativity, Obadiah. I, when you say <laughs> anti, that is very not. It's like not. I'm not having a good time. I'm anti fun. I'm having a good time. Are well, you not having a good time? I just feel very insecure about the title, honestly. Well, we can't change it. Yeah, it's too late. The graphics <laughs> the signs are done. All right, well, look, let's talk. I know we're getting ready to get into a new so or, uh, another song, but mm -hmm. you actually have some new music coming up. Yes. Share. All right, I start recording. Yeah, like or, you've, you've been at it for a little while. Yeah, I've been recording, but um, we've just been we've just finished the ten songs and stuff, and um, just been recording for a while. Um, we should probably be done within like a week or so. Now, when's this new? I mean, can you say is it like? Chant, do, 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 like is, August. Is there, August, August two thousand six. Yes. August, the new year, <laughs> new record. It's it's a. Uh, it's a lot different from the first record. You know, your first record, you have to kind of establish who you are, and then your sophomore record, you can kind of expand and experiment. And so it's got its, it's, got its rockier moments, and um, I've... Now, by rockier, you mean more intense and not more like... Intense. Uh, yeah, like, yeah. Okay. It's more intense. I've, oh, I've written some stuff with, with this guy over okay. here. and uh, He's actually a little... Because uh, <laughs> I'm watching him eat the lasagna, and he... Okay, now we're happy. <laughs> okay, we're good. So what's your next song? <laughs> Next song is called Fire. Okay, is it a good song? I I I think it's a good song. Okay. So yeah. what do you guys do you guys think? It matters if they think it's a good song. I, I'll tell you what I think. Okay, you tell me what you think.
Year's Eve. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Now, Crystal, like, you've celebrated. I mean, it's cool that you're celebrating New Year's Eve with us, but, like, you go all over the world to, like, celebrate stuff. Yeah. Like, let's talk about Christmas. Christmas, okay. Well, what did you do? That was the hint. Like, I was talking about the whole world, and you were in another place, and it was about Christmas. Well, and I'll give you a hint. Well, it's okay. in Europe. Spoken was there. Yes. yes. Blindside was there. Yes. Spoken. The other people were there. <laughs> the other people. Well, like, tell me about it, because I didn't get to go. You went to Germany. What happened? Went to Germany for Christmas rock night. And, um, yes, the lineup for the night that I played was House of Heroes. It was me. It was Spoken. It was Blindside. And then it was Petra. That ended out. But, um... Blindside is one of my favorite bands. Spoken is our friends, and um, so it was. Our friends too. Well, your friends too. Yeah. Everybody's so friends. I'm just saying, you know, go ahead. We, <laughs> we, yeah. So we played a show with them, and I uh, got to hang out. The show was amazing. Uh, the German kids were crazy people. Really? Um, like it was, crazier than they are? I don't know. <laughs> These guys are pretty crazy. I mean, Germany, they start world wars. I mean, they're nuts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, well, it wasn't us. I'm just saying, you know. So, um, like, what was the coolest thing about being in Germany? Was it the show? Was it, I mean, what happened? Um, probably the show and also the thought of, wow, I'm in Germany. I had never been overseas before, and so uh, that was quite an experience, just the plane ride out there and the plane ride back, but like, just the culture is completely different, but um, getting to be in a new place that like none of us had ever been before and being able to play with like one of my favorite bands was just amazing. Now, was that the first time you've ever played with Blindside? We played a festival with them before, but it just wasn't the same because, you know, festivals have like bands after bands after bands, and so like this was actually like something that we were able to hang out with them and, and the other bands and stuff. Now, when you got to actually meet them, like, did you play it cool? Just like, yeah, your show is okay. Or was it like, ah! like, what happened? It was one of those things where, like, we had we had met before and he had recognized us before. And, um, and so they knew you. Well, they recognized us from, like, me, me and Brian over here had, like, went up and said something to Christian before. And and um, and so he, he was like, I guess, haven't, haven't I seen you guys before? And we're like, yeah. Uh -huh. and, <laughs> <laughs> and um, and so I mean, it was one of those things where all of the bands just kind of were standing on the sidelines and like we're watching them play like on the side of the stage, and all of us like we're like we're not starstruck people, but, but you were starstruck. People. But for Blindside, it's just like, oh my gosh, like these guys are incredible, and so we're all just kind of like biting our fingers and are just like, this is amazing. Cool. And so, but they're great guys, really, really awesome. One of the best live shows I've ever seen. And so, yeah. All right, now tell me about your next song. What do you got? Now, you, I hear this one is a little rocky. <laughs> it's a little rocky. <laughs> it's, uh, it's called Can't Stay. This is the, this is the last record on the, uh, on the album. Okay, right on. Let's hear it, Can't Stay!